Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a what if, being the thumb, what if, the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here, this is going to be a universal intro from now on, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros, so this is going to be an intro for a while. So, I hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Wait, wait, nigga. So let's just get into the what if. Now this what if starts off with a Deku being with Deku being born. Deku was actually born with red hair and very light green eyes with black bags around him. Now to somewhat um to somewhat um you know consider to somewhat have the sand manipulation thing type thing and protection of his mother, we're gonna have Inko die. But her last wish was to protect her son always, and would and would somehow imprint herself within the sand, within something of Deku's, within his quirk at least. Now Deku was born as from what they would think would be a sand manipulation quirk. Well, this is what this is what most likely they're going to think in the future because when you give Hazashi a earth manipulation, uh, um the. The ability to manipulate Earth, along with, well, Inko's quirk being the same, so Deku is going to be a lot stronger. Now, if if I'm being honest, Deku is going to be with Hisashi the whole time now. Or actually, I could have Deku move on and become an orphan, but I don't. I might have an idea what to do. I'm not sure if it'll work. I don't know if it'll work. I don't want it to work that way actually. So no. But yet, no, we're not going to do it that way. So yes, Deku will be with Hisashi for most, of, well, actually his entire life. So instead of it being Inko that is there, it is Hisashi that is there. So when Deku was four and taken to the quirk doctor, Hisashi would be very shocked to hear that his son doesn't have a quirk. Now, Hisashi's not very, he's not angry at his son for not having a quirk, but he would be a lot more proud to find out if his son had a quirk at all, to be honest. Because now his son is considered one of the my um is <laughs> I don't know to say a minority, but Deku is within the um twenty percent of those who are quirkless, which are mostly consistent of that of which is consistent mostly of elderly, the elderly. So you know he's actually just a little bit disappointed, but he'll get over it. Now. One day while his Ashi and Deku at the park, Deku would be playing when he would see Bakugo bullying one of um bullying a kid. Now Bakugo who had awakened his quirk already, um, would have been shooting explosions at the kid. Now Deku seeing this would have stepped in and told Bakugo to stop. Now Bakugo obviously isn't going to listen to Deku and would say, Get out of the way, Deku as Deku would tell um Bakugo to stop it. Yeah, he won't get out of the way. He won't allow him to continue to bully him. He says, you're just a quirkless nobody. But since you want to take his beating, how about it? As Bakugo runs towards Deku, and Sizashi sees this, he's about to go, he's about to, um, use manipulation of the earth to separate Bakugo from Deku. But before he could, Bakugo would have lost, launched an explosion. But out of nowhere, Hizashi's eyes are widen as sand would shoot up from the ground, protecting Deku. Now, Hisashi is confused. It's sad that his son was quirkless. And I'm, we're going to say that the toe thing is 100% correct every time. So, what power does his son have to manipulate the sand? Like, this is exactly what he... I guess somewhat of what he would um, imagine with Inko being able to manipulate... I'm gonna, Actually, instead of Inko, Inko having a wind quirk, a wind quirk. So, that would make it a lot better. So he would imagine this type of quirk, but Deku doesn't have a quirk, so what is this power? That's what he wants to know. 
Now, everyone would be shocked as Deku would then begin to glow a red, as a red bubble, and energy would glow around Deku as it begins to bubble. And when Hizashi would go to grab Deku, he would be burnt by the energy. As he would then hear Deku scream out more of a demonic like scream. Now, Deku. Um, now, Deku will pass out, actually. I'm gonna have him pass out and wake up in the hospital, but this is where we get into what happened while Deku was passed out. Deku will wake up inside of a a desert, for what he can see. As someone behind him says, you're here, huh? As Deku turns around to see what he would think is an older version of him, as Deku says, are, are you me? Says no, but you are me. No, that's quite weird. But you are me, in a sense. Uh, huh? I am Gara, the Kaz the fifth Kaze Kage of Suna, of Suna, or the Hidden Sand Village. I know I was gonna butcher the uh, the suburb very soon. Suna Gakure, Suna Gakure. Yeah, I knew I was gonna butcher that. And it says, and you, Izuku Midoriya, are my reincarnation. Now, Deku will be very shocked by this. He says, reincarnation? What's that? Well, um, I actually wouldn't know how to explain that. But in a sense, my soul has become part of your soul. Which means all of my powers that I've had, that I had, would have became part of yours. Along with that thing, as this is when Deku would feel the ground begin to rumble. As beginning to rise as a giant sand raccoon dog, from what he can see. A raccoon dog made of sand with tattoos or markings all over it. As Shukaku says, oh Gara, you're finally able to make a connection with the kid, huh? As Deku would be a little bit in fear, but Gara would tell Deku to calm down that Shukaku won't hurt him. Now I'm gonna have De um, Gara eventually have Shikaku resealed within him since he is just the One Tails, so he's gonna be resealed within Gara, and Gara will die, taking Shikaku with him, obviously. And Shikaku is a lot. This is after Shippuden, so Shikaku is a lot more willing to work with his host than what he would have been. Now, Deku Gara will te then to introduce Deku to Shikaku, saying that Deku is a a, a entity made of the energy that Deku has within his body. An entity made of chakra. As Garo then go on to explain chakra to Deku. And by the end of it, Deku says, so I can use all of those? He says, yes, but you do need training. Which is why I'm here. <clears throat> as he would then see as Garo begins to go through hand signs, as Deku asks, what is he doing? He says, I'm making a ghost clone. A, a ghost clone? Yes, it would actually create a clone of me outside of your world. Along with Shikaku, that only you can see. And we will be instructing you on how to use my abilities, along with training with Shikaku, to, un to use his power a lot better. Now, Deku will be extremely happy, and will tell Gara that he can't wait to train. Now, Gara... Deku isn't somewhat like him. It's, he's not all the way like him. Deku, my Deku's mother died too. A guard can feel not only his mother, but Deku's mother within the sand that's surrounded, that's surrounding them. He um, he can also he's also seeing Deku's memories, seeing that Deku's also lives with his father, but his father isn't like Raza. Um, Deku's father didn't have Deku. Uh, trying to have Deku assassinated or anything like that. Rasa, Deku's father actually cared, or Rasa didn't. If Deku's personality will be a little bit more different, but he'll take on a little bit more of Gara's personality. <sighs> I'm sorry. Now, um, this is where we go back to Deku after waking up, after passing out, and, and waking up in the hospital. Now, upon waking up, Deku would be extremely happy to see his dad. And his actually would ask Deku, is he okay? And Deku would then tell his dad he has something to tell him in private when they get back home. So his actually would say he can't wait. 
and she's very happy to see that his son developed a quirk. But he doesn't. But that's what he think. That's what he thinks it is. But he also thinks that it's not a quirk. That this is some power that his son magically has. So when they get home, Deku then began to explain his meeting with Gara, and learning that De that his um and learning that Deku is his reincarnation. Um, Deku is Gara's reincarnation and things like that. And that's how he has a sand ability. Now, oh, uh, not Raza. Now, he's actually what they. Oh, wow! This is actually a little bit suspicious. Like, like Deku's quirk is what his is what inco um Deku's power to manipulate sand. Well, that's going to be the ability to manipulate sand is the same power that he would have gained if his he had inherited his both of his mother and father's quirk if the quirk had merged somehow. So. Obviously, yo, Hizashi would be a little skeptical, but then Deku would then tell Hizashi that Gara will be training him by perform, and he then points right towards Gara. As Hizashi looks and sees no one there, Deku says that Gara is right there, but he that he used a technique called the called the Ghost Clone. As Gara would then tell Deku to touch his father, and that he's going to force his chakra, uh, Deku's chakra, out and around Hizashi. So that Hizashi could see him. So obviously, he, um, Deku would touch his father while Gara does this. Now Hizashi would be extremely shocked to see Gara manifest himself right beside him, or as from what he can see, his Gara just appeared beside him. She says, well, "You, you, I am Gara." And yes, it is true what your son said, and it is quite suspicious that I um was. That I was reincarnated into him. I can see that. But don't worry. I'll make your son very strong. So that he can achieve his dreams. Of becoming a good hero. The number one hero. Now Hizashi will pass out. And. This is really where we're going to get to a time skip. Of around. That goes 4. 14. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the My Hero Academia start around at the age of 17, so around a good 13 years. So yes, he's going to um, UA is gonna all high schools in Japan. We're gonna have them start at 17, the age of 17, the ripe age of 17, which means everybody's gonna be a lot older than normal. Now, Deku, um will be in this is where we can really tend to kind of caught up with the anime with the start of the anime now Deku would be in class and no one knows of Deku's power Deku's decided to keep his power hidden now Bakugo thinks that Deku doesn't see him worthy of using his quirk and tries to attack Deku but every time he tries to Deku somehow disappears and doesn't is it's like he disappears from away from Bakugo like Bakugo is not worthy to touch him or to for him to use his quirk against Bakugo. Deku's become a lot more quiet and a, um, a lot more conservative, a lot more to himself than normal, and a lot calmer, if we would say that. He has had his crazy moments. I mean, Gara had a lot, uh, for, for 12 years, Gara, well, not even 12 years, for a bunch of years, I believe seven years, Gara was pretty crazy, so, eh. Now, um, Deku, um, Deku will be walking into class, oh, no, no, Deku will be sitting in class when a teacher will walk in. As the teacher will say, alright, class, today we're going to be filming out your... Um, a career aptitude test, I believe. But he would then, I believe that's what he said, is he would then say, you know what, it's fine, because I already know you all want to be heroes. As he throws the papers in the air. And she says, but you guys do need to fill, fill, fill out what school you guys are going to. As the teacher would be, um, as Bakugo, um, the teacher would then tell Bakugo, oh, you're going to QA. As Bakugo would say, yeah, I'll be the first one from this school. Um, I'll be the first one from this damn public school to get into UA. Um, public middle school to get into UA. As the teacher will begin to go over the phone, she says, Ah, oh, Midoriya, you're going to UA too, huh? 
As no one, re really, only Bakugo really knows that Deku has a quirk. As everyone begins to laugh, because they st they think that Deku is quirkless. He's medically diagnosed actually quirkless. Now, the, the students will begin to laugh. And Bakugo's a little pissed, because he was supposed to be the first and only one from this middle school to get into UA. But now Deku is ruining that. So when the teacher would leave later that day, Bakugo would first go to attack Deku, only to see Deku's already gone. As Deku begins to walk back home, he goes the same way that he would have taken. He goes the same way that he would have taken in canon, big under that underpass. I think that's what those are called, underpasses. As while taking this way. This is when a villain would appear, and it's not the same Sludge villain. This is actually a villain made of pure fire. Now the villain would then say, I didn't think All Might would be here, as he would then see Deku. As he does have the same ability to take someone's body over, because the body he's currently in, it actually isn't his own body. When he takes his true form, which is the form of his quirk, he's actually like a little fire. Um, I've seen this before. I'll put it on screen if I can find it. But that's what exactly what he looks like when he's in his true fire form, fire quirk form. So that he can take over people's bodies. So he would try, he would engulf Deku in flames, but these flames won't harm Deku because he's trying to get into his body. But they're, um, they're somewhat... Getting Deku's body used to the flame so that his body won't basically melt when he fully emerges within him. Now, before the um the fire could touch Deku, Deku would be then be go in a in a ball of freaking sand. As the villain says, "What's happening?" But by the time he turns around, as he, as he's about to leave because he's he's making no progress to get to Deku. He would hear, I, I, I don't think, he, I'm not sure this is the one he used, but he would then hear, Delaware Smash! As All Might has used the Delaware Smash against the against the fire villain. Actually, this person can. Or actually, no. Yes, he would have dispersed him into forcing him to leave the body that he's currently in and to take his true form of the fire, of the fire quirk, as you can see on the screen. Now, All Might would have most likely, um, would have had a fire blanket on hand and would have placed it over the, um, over the villain to keep him at bay and, and would then bottle him up. Or not bottle him He would, he would secure him, he would put the, the fire, the fire, um, the fire blanket with the, with the villain inside of it, with the, inside of a bag, actually. Yes, inside of a bag rather than a bottle. He could bottle him. Actually, if he would bottle him up, the bottle would easily just melt. So, now, All Might seeing a dome of sand would begin to knock on it. As he then sees as a giant eye begins to form over him. But then he would see the eye widen and as, like, as if it was shocked. As the ball of, as the dome of sand then begins to deform. As, he, as the boy walks out and says, you're All Might. As All Might would say, uh, uh, yes, I am All Might. Can, can I get your autograph? Now, Deku isn't as happy as he would have been. He still is a, as big of a fan as All Might as he was in canon, but just not, he doesn't show more to, much of his emotions, really. He only really shows much of his emotions to those of which he are close to, which being his father. Now, um, All Might may say, wow. Well, well, we'll begin to think, wow, he does not seem very excited to get my autograph, but I'll give it to him anyway. As All Might begins to autograph Deku's um, notebook, as Deku didn't ask All Might one thing. He will then tell All Might, could a quirkless person ever become a hero? As All Might would say, yeah, there, um, well, would say no, but say, also say yes and no, actually. Like there are heroes who are quirkless, but those who, but those heroes trained their entire. When they found that they were quirkless, they trained from that point on so that they would not be left behind by those who were who had quirks. But those who have not trained and are quirkless cannot become heroes because of how dangerous it is. Dangerous it is. 
Now that will be a little bit saddened by this. I'm gonna tell All Might thank you. Now, All Might, um, All Might will begin to walk away, and so would Deku. Deku's a little bit sad. While yes, he has been training his entire life and does have God's power. He still wants to know if a person who was quirkless could become a hero, since he is technically, technically quirkless. And you know, Deku does kind of keep up the appearance of him being quirkless a lot, so. Now. Now, Deku would arrive home and would begin to sit down with his father. As he then discussed what happened with his father about meeting All Might and asking All Might the same question. His Asi would ask Deku, why does he still want to know if he could become a hero whether he's quirkless? He has power that he can use, that he can use to become a very good hero. Maybe even the next number one hero. Deku would say, well he's technically still quirkless. And society still decides to look down on those who are quirkless. I just wanted to know. As they are watching the news, as Deku then sees um, a fire, as a bunch of explosions and fire. As Deku says, that's the same villain that All Might captured. As All Might did drop the villain this time also. As the news panel would then say that a, he has the fire, the fire villain from earlier has captured a boy. As Deku's wondering who could this possibly be when they will show a picture of the boy being Bakugo. Now Hisashi would tell Deku, wait a minute, wait a minute, as before he could finish that question, or that, um, that, uh, statement, Deku would have been gone in a sand such, um, body flicker. As Deku would have appeared at the scene, as he would then begin to run towards Bakugo. As Deku would then say, he doesn't really, I'm going to say, yeah, Kotsky. he doesn't call him Kachan. He stopped doing that at the, at when God started training him. Now, um, Deku, um, would have been yelling, Kotsky, as, um, that doesn't really sound as good as Kachan or anything, but still. Why, you know, why not have him yell Kachan? Let's let, let's let him call him that, actually. Well, he doesn't actually call him that a lot because God trained him actually. Yeah, let's make it like like that. Uh, he would yell Kachan as Bakugo would look at him and says, Deku, what are you doing here? As this is when he and everyone else would be amazed as Deku, as a gourd of sand would appear on Deku's back. As Deku has dropped the illusion, Deku's always carrying his gourd of sand. He just puts a Genjutsu over it. Or something like that. Yeah, we don't have him put again Genjutsu over so that he can hide it. And no one can really just ban Genjutsu's here. And this is the only Genjutsu he really knows. So, Deku would have then, um, what attack do I want him to use of cars? I mean, it has to, no, Sand Shower, no. Sand tsunami? That could work. Yeah, yeah. I want to have Deku use sand tsunami from the gourd. There's a bunch of sand forms and begins, well, you know, form a tsunami. And it then begins to go over the fire villain. The fire villain had to try to jump back from Bakugo and it did get away from Bakugo's body. But because the fire villain was emitting such heat, he encased himself and glass from Deku's sand. So when the sand would die down and all the sand would come back into Deku's gourd, they would then see the fire villain as in stuck in, in a glass body or, or, or a glass orb actually. Now, the heroes would come to Deku and congratulate him. As this when someone would appear behind Deku. As he says, I am here. As All Might appears, as Deku turns around, as he looks at All Might, a little bit coldly, but looks at him. As All Might was grabbed Deku and would then jump away before any paparazzi or anything could happen. Bakugo was a little bit shocked that All Might grabbed Deku and jumped away. As All Might would have landed on the roof for a little bit away, 
Because he would have then asked, is, is Deku, why does he have power? Why does he have a quirk if he said that he was quirkless? As Deku would then tell All Might that he is quirkless. That this power came from something else. Something to do with, um, something else that he doesn't really want to explain with the hero. Now, All Might would have a little bit of suspicions. Now, all for one could have given Deku this quirk, but then Deku's genealogy would have shown, and it's still with his latest checkup. Um, Deku would still been considered quirkless, which All Might will find this out pretty soon when he would do dig into this. Now, All Might would then tell Deku that he's inspired him to go beyond his limit, because even though while Deku does have power, he's considered quirkless. He jumped in to save his friend, but without even moving. As Deku says, yeah, he was kinda at home when he had seen Bakugo was stuck in a flame villain that um, he had far earlier, and appeared to save him. Now, All Might would say that it is such a selfless act, and would then ask Deku to become his successor to inherit his quirk. Now this is how I'm going to have Shikaku stay in this world, along with Gara and Deku. Now, Deku would then ask All Might what does he mean. As All Might would then begin to explain the fundamentals of One for All. When then tell Deku that it's a quirk that can be passed on by eating a piece of the DNA while the current wielder of the quirk is um wants it to be given away. Not force well probably probably forcefully want have them want to give it away, but still wants them to give it away. Now, All Might, um, now Deku would be intrigued by this, and would say, I guess All Might. As he shows a smirk, something All Might has not seen Deku do at all since meeting him. Not even when he had, um, not even when he had first met him. As Deku would then, um, All Might would then ask Deku to meet him at Tacoma Beach. As Deku would not, and this is where I'm going to be ending off part one. Of what if Deku's guards are incarnation. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I enjoyed recording, recording it, recording it. Like I said, recording it. And I will see you guys later in part two. I don't, I don't, I might label this the 600 cell special. So it might be a 600 cell special series and only go be for my hero. Because I did hit 600 subs. Yes, I posted my 500 sub movie for Mara, for Deck, for my hero late. I still have to post the Naruto one because I have a full series recorded and the ending and all those things, but I don't like the ending, so I don't know if I want to post that. But I most likely will. You guys seem to enjoy the modern one, so you might enjoy that one. I don't really know. I hope to see you guys soon. Join the Discord server. Peace and goodbye.